Well, good evening again, everyone. The month of November has not been kind to the Youngstown State football team the last few years. Since 2013, the Gwins are combined three and nine in the month, including a loss last week at North Dakota State. With just two games left in the season, Vocalini and company would need wins to have their first above 500 November since 2012 and potentially their first playoff berth since 2006. Let's take it to Stambaugh. YSU offense hadn't scored a touchdown in eight quarters. That would finally end today. They're up 7-0 in the second quarter. YSU in the red zone. Hunter Wells swinging it to Alvin Bailey. He makes a great catch from 10 yards out. YSU up 14-0. But the Salukis would storm back. Fourth quarter, Southern Illinois down just seven. It's Sam Straub. Back to pass with some time. Fires end zone. Finds Connor Awima. He hauls it in. Extra point ties it at 14. Later in the quarter, same score. YSU driving again. It's Wells swinging it to Darian Townsend. Look at the speed from the Youngstown Christian product. He gets in. That would give YSU the lead. Five seconds left. Last chance for Southern Illinois. Straub back to pass. Flushed. Heaves it towards the end zone. It actually gets caught by a Saluki, but short of the goal line. YSU defense holds on. They escape on senior day, 21 to 14. You know, just some different things happen. We have a chance to score points. You don't. It's a totally different football game. But, you know, you let somebody hang around, that's what happens. But um, found a way to win. Uh, and uh, that's, what, that's, that's the important thing. But uh, I saw some really positive things, and I thought the offense played better today. It's definitely something to build off of. Um, at the same point, like I said, we have a lot to fix. Uh, 21 points is nothing to be satisfied about as an offense, especially the way our defense has been playing. 